To this day, the Andy Griffith Show remains a quintessential piece of Americana, thanks in part to the legendary actor and comedian Don Knotts. Knotts played Deputy Sheriff Barney Fife, and it's still, without a doubt, the role he's most remembered for. Knotts had a long career that included playing the character of Ralph Furley on Three's Company. He also starred in many comedic films, including the leading role in The Ghost and Mr. Chicken and The Incredible Mr. Limpet. In 1979, TV Guide ranked him number 27 on its 50 Greatest TV Stars of All Time list. But despite his hilarity as a performer, Knotts lived a life filled with sadness and tragedy. Join us as we take a look at the legendary comedian and find out what unfortunate adversities he had to overcome. Knott's parents weren't the greatest. Born in Morgantown, West Virginia in 1942, Don Knotts reportedly had a horrible childhood. He was an accidental child whose closest sibling was 14 years older. Knott's father, Jesse Sr., was mostly bedridden by the time he was born, and was apparently a schizophrenic alcoholic. Don Knotts' childhood was filled with abuse. His father even threatened him with a knife. Knotts was a pale, thin, and regularly sick young boy because of it. Knotts had a difficult relationship with his brothers. Don Knotts' relationship with his brothers was complicated and difficult. It said Knotts was mistreated by his brothers, William Earl and Sid. The two were often drunk and would fight, until one day William Earl died from a severe asthma attack. Knotts was just a teenager when it happened. In a challenging home environment, he managed to find some comfort by acting out dramas with imaginary characters. Don Knotts didn't feel free until high school. His home life was a constant source of terror, but things luckily improved as he became a teen. His father passed away when he was 13, which was actually a relief for young Don, who at the same time was able to get his older brother under control and ended the overwhelming terror. Entering high school, Knotts blossomed and became class president, but he still felt very unhappy, which led to him turning to a friend named Danny. Danny was a ventriloquist dummy and gave Knotts an outlet and a way to perform. The Rumors of Don Knotts' Military Career Don Knotts has been the subject of an oft-repeated rumor that some believe to be quite cruel. The rumor is that Knotts was once an incredibly strict Marine Corps drill instructor. While it isn't true, it has become part of an urban legend about unlikely-looking celebrities who have a hidden military past. Another example is Mr. Rogers once being a military sniper. The biggest shame of this rumor is it ignores Knotts' actual military service. While he wasn't physically competent for war, he actually toured the Pacific Front as part of the comedy troupe Stars and Gripes. Their mission was to entertain the troops. He also worked as a nurse when required. Thanks to being called funny by older comedian Red Ford, Knotts abandoned his ventriloquism and moved on to other types of comedy by the time he was out of the military. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Knotts got roles because he made others look good. Don Knotts headed for New York City after the military and after graduating from West Virginia University. With just $100 in his pocket, his career had a sour start. He was rejected and turned down for a series of radio gigs before he landed a spot on a soap opera. Seven more years led him to Broadway and finding a co-star that would become a lifelong friend, Andy Griffith. Knotts was becoming known as an actor suited to very specific character traits, nervous, anxious, and non-threatening. He became the actor who took side roles opposite male leads that the thin and nervous Knotts made appear more manly. So the better Knotts performed, the better his co-stars flourished. Don Knotts struggled with hypochondria and anxiety. Knotts found great success after suggesting himself for the role of Barney Fife to Andy Griffith. While it was a match made in TV heaven, not all was well behind the scenes. Knotts struggled with the uncontrollable feeling of inferiority and soon became overwhelmed before a performance that he would spend days in bed. In the 1950s, he was given a prescription for anti-anxiety drugs. This unfortunately led to him becoming addicted. Anxiety wasn't his only enemy, as he also suffered with hypochondria and chronic insomnia. But following an accidental overdose of sleeping pills, Knotts quit all his bad habits, including staying out too late with women, in an attempt to regain control. 
Don Knotts coped in therapy. While Knotts achieved great success, he was haunted by his difficult childhood. On top of this, he struggled with coming to terms with the type of characters he constantly played. The submissive, anxious, and nervous traits, alongside being the butt of jokes, were harshly impacting his self-doubt and depression. On the other hand, these roles brought him greater success than he'd ever imagined. This created a deep conflict within Knotts. Don Knotts was mercurial. His different moods alongside his depression would lead him to an endless loop of negative thoughts and a continual downward spiral. He put in a huge amount of work just to be happy. Knotts was incredibly underappreciated. With the huge success of The Andy Griffith Show, there's inevitably several different stories as to why Don Knotts decided to leave. His daughter Karen related it to two things, the grinding hard work and that there's only so many stories a show can tell. But others believe Knotts only ever intended to do five seasons of the show, and that's exactly what he did. In 1967, Knotts spoke out about working on the TV show and explained the grind of television gets to you. That's why he decided to concentrate primarily on films. While he did make the occasional appearance, The Andy Griffith Show continued without him for the most part. But without his regular presence, the show simply wasn't the same. Luckily, Griffith and Knotts remained friends and didn't part ways because of it. But Knotts' movie career never quite hit the traction he was hoping for. The movies he worked on included The Incredible Mr. Limpet, The Reluctant Astronaut, and The Ghost and Mr. Chicken, which are looked at today as being influential films. The Incredible Mr. Limpet was revolutionary by mixing animation and live action. Comedians like Martin Short and Jim Carrey have been outspoken about the films, and about Knotts being a huge inspirations to them. This unfortunately wasn't the notion at the time, and Knotts didn't receive the critical acclaim he deserved. Don Knotts struggled with blindness. At age 57, Knotts received some troubling news. He was diagnosed with macular degeneration a condition that interferes with a person's ability to see directly in front of them and makes anything in their direct line of sight appear distorted or blurry. In certain cases, it can develop into an inability to recognize faces. This understandably led to Knotts falling deeper into depression, but later realizing that a blind person would give their right arm to have his vision. This kind of perspective showed great progress in Knotts' continual efforts battling with depression and anxiety. While he continued to work and enjoyed his hobby of swimming laps, eventually his eyesight deteriorated and he could no longer drive or read. When Don Knotts was given his own show, it flopped. After leaving The Andy Griffith Show, Knotts was given the chance to host The Don Knotts Show. Premiering in 1970, the show had everything needed to be the next big thing. The show was given 22 weeks to make an impact. But due to the huge number of variety shows hitting TV at the time, he simply couldn't do enough to make the show get noticed. It came to a premature end, while Knotts continued to make appearances on other variety shows. Don Knotts' daughter left his deathbed to laugh. In the early 2000s, it was reported that Knotts was diagnosed with lung cancer. At that point, Knotts and his longtime friend Griffith had fallen out of touch. But upon hearing the unfortunate news, Griffith rushed to his side to help him fight it. The two quickly fell into their friendly routine of singing, laughing, and telling jokes. It was clear to those around them they had missed each other very much. Sadly, Knotts lost his battle with cancer on February 24, 2006. He was 81. His daughter Karen spoke about a regret she had at her father's deathbed, saying, quote, Here's the thing about my dad. He had this funniness that was completely insanely natural. When he was dying, he was making us laugh in hysterics. He was literally dying, but he did something or said something that caused my stepmother and I to go into fits of laughter, which is why I ran out. She regretted leaving her father's side to laugh, as she was later told by director Howard Storm she should have stayed, laughed out loud, and let him hear it. Now it's time to hear from you. Was Don Knotts' role as Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show truly his best performance? Or is there another that better exhibits his comedy genius? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.